Hey, everyone. Thank you so, 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 so much for tuning in to today's episode. I just want to give my gratitude as we're wrapping up 2022, my word for the year. I do this every single year. I always have a single word to describe the year. And my word normally doesn't come to me until like sometime around this time where I start reflecting and then it just hits me. And the word for this year is clarity, right? Because it took me so long to finally get clarity that the podcast is all I really wanted to do and all I wanted to focus on. I spent this year, you know, trying to get into real estate. I only closed three rentals, you know, which is not barely anything. I was barely scraping by this whole entire year in terms of I'm still at the restaurant. My original goals was to leave the restaurant by February so I can get full time into real estate. Well, that was the plan at the time. And I'm still at the restaurant and I'm just extremely grateful for having a side job. Definitely pay. It keeps me going. It's what funds me for the time being. But I also try to do a social media marketing agency. You know, I got my LLC and stuff filed for that back in October. I was convinced that that was what I really wanted to do. And that ended up not being what I wanted to do. And like, so around December, I finally started learning into this thing called Ikigai. And I started looking into, you know, what I wanted to do. And it, it, it just made sense that the podcast was really it. It's where I had all my focus. I was doing it consistently, but I was doing the bare minimum. And someone said to me, you know, you can't expect full-time results only putting in part-time effort. And there's people out there that this is their sole, you know, mission, their sole purpose, and they're putting all their efforts and they're getting great results because they're focused. And for me, I was distracted for so long. So this upcoming 2023, I am super excited to see where I can take this podcast. I'm finishing off this year right now. This was this month of December was my best month by far. I have, as of this time, 530 downloads. I'm finishing up the year with 2,499 downloads so far. And it, it just amazes me. I thought I was going to end the year on, off around 2,100. My goal is 3,000. But as I said, I was put in the bare minimum kind of for the majority of this year. It wasn't until like late November when I really started getting intentional as to, you know, what can I do to help the podcast grow? So we're going to get right into, you know, the top 10 episodes for the year. Let me not stall any longer. We're going to start off from number 10 and then we're going to go all the way down to number two. And then we're going to say some honorable mentions and then finish off with the number one episode of the year. So we're going to start off number 10. This episode is number 29. It's how to become a quality investor, landlord, and person with Ed Matthews. Ed is an amazing guy. We talked about a lot of great things, a lot of great tidbits that could be applied into the investing world and into your personal life. And there's this exercise he talks about in there as well, that it's pretty much, you have three columns. I forget, and it's something along the lines, you have to picture, you know, what it would feel like if you weren't to achieve a goal, and then what it would feel like if you did achieve the goal. And it uses the power of visualization kind of to get you to inspire you into action. It's a great exercise. Make sure to go check that episode out. Coming in at number nine is Grow Your Money Passively Using Syndications with Margaret Kosler, part two. Yes, back in that time, I was doing two-part interviews because I didn't have enough guests lined up to get interviews scheduled. So I used to split my interviews into two parts so that I can have enough time. It gave me a, uh, an extra week to find another guest to hopefully interview. So yes, part two is, uh, is and that's episode number nine. And so number nine is also episode number nine. We talked about Fundrise, you know, how to get, what are syndication? The majority of the U.S. population has no idea what syndications are. And just the way of investing is pretty much pulling your money together and putting that money into a project. And she goes into the details with it. Margaret is doing amazing things. She still has her syndication, go, syndication business going strong. So make sure to go check out number nine and then go see Margaret Kozlorg. Coming in at number eight, we have episode number five, my drawbacks, my early stages. I was really talking about in, in that episode, mainly about the things I've experienced so far trying to get into entrepreneurship, the burnout, how difficult it actually is, you know, how distracting I was. But, you know, I think I mentioned too in there how I I almost maxed out my credit card and I hit my score. So I was, you know, really raw, really transparent episode with you guys. That was episode number five. Coming in at number seven is episode number three. It's called A Great Morning Routine. And I pretty much talk about the core components you need to have in your morning routine, the key areas that you need to hit in order to have a great morning routine, something that anyone can easily implement into their life. You know, a lot of people are going into this new year, new me, right? That is all BS. 
You just know no more new year, new me. You just have to get 1% better every single day starting today. Don't wait until tomorrow night. Don't, you know, slack off every single day. Get one day, 1% better every day. And starting off with your morning routine is a great way to start. Coming in at numbers six now, I believe, is episode number two, 10 useful mindset tips and pieces of advice. And this is just a compilation episode of wisdom that I've been able to gather through my networking, through my reading, my podcasting. Thinking Grow Rich definitely played a big factor into that episode as well and getting my mindset where it's at. I feel like I've been blessed to give the, give the gift of wisdom. I feel like God has blessed me with that gift. And so that's just episode number two, which is a big compilation of some of the best advice I've been able to get so far. Coming in at number five is episode number six, real estate licensing CT edition. A lot of people that I know want to get the real estate license. So in that episode, it's super straightforward. I just tell people what I did to get my license. I got my license and I think it took, I passed a class in three tests and no, in three months, a little less than three months. But then I took a little bit of a gap and then I failed my real estate exam twice. So I have some experience with the real estate exam. I ended up passing the third time. So pretty much go through my whole journey of getting my real estate license. Coming in at number four is episode number eight, which is grow your money passively using syndications with Margaret Kosler. Again, she talks about syndications. What are they? How to get started as someone? A lot of these things, there is a high requirement. Some of them that are non-accredited, the minimum is usually 25,000. Some of them that are accredited, the minimum sometimes is as low as 50,000. So a lot of money gets put into these things. So I'm not there yet, but it's great to know about some of these things because awareness is power. And this is one of the vehicles you'll probably never hear about from anyone unless you know someone that's actually in the business doing it. Coming in at number three is episode number seven. It's called Choosing a Bank. And there I go into depth about now, what is a traditional bank? What's an online bank? What's a credit union? How should you choose yours? Why I chose Charles Schwab and Ally Bank. And I go into the details as to what you should factor in when choosing your bank so that you can have a safe spot for your money. Coming in at number two is actually episode number one, My Walk to Wealth. That kind of talks about my journey getting into entrepreneurship. I didn't really talk about how I started a podcast in the episode, but I talked about, you know, what it was like dropping out the mindset shift I had to make, reading Rich Dad, Poor Dad, how that shifted my mindset, the decision to drop out and working 70 hours. I go into detail as to everything pretty much leading up to the podcast. And so you guys can get up to speed as to what I had to go through so far in life. So that was episode number one. And before we mention our top spot in this episode, I just want to give some honorable mentions. So I'm going to do three quick honorable mentions. Super nice, super easy. Coming in at episode number four, it's intro to points and miles. This episode, I talked about what I did to get my score to over 700. And at that time, I believe it was at 200,000 points. I was like just close to 200,000 points. So I talked about the chase cards I get, what I had to do to get them, and some of my experiences so far that led me to racking up the amount of points that I did. And right now, I just used some points the other day, but I was at, I think I'm over 300,000. So that's episode number four. Episode number 15 with Carly Worth, it's increasing longevity and preventing burnout in real estate. This is part one of that episode. That episode with Carly, she has an amazing story. She got into real estate and was started getting it going pretty quickly, but quickly found herself being run around by a lot of investors and her time was you know sucked dry. So she didn't have time for a lot of the things that she wanted to do and she got burnt out. And despite having a very successful year in her first 12 months in real estate, she was in a place where she was almost borderline quitting and she able to make it, finding her way through. And now she's on track to do a lot of amazing things. So make sure to go check out episode number 15. And then my personal favorite episode that I've been able to do with an interview, it's episode number 34. It's achieving the highest level in a game we call life with Vic Manzo. That is by far my favorite. Episode. I've been able to take away a ton from that episode. Personally, I see myself quoting that Vic in a lot of my new interviews that I'm doing. And then when I go on new shows, I also see myself quoting Vic a lot. He definitely helped break things down. And he just resonated with me. And the things he was saying really, really taught me some new perspective. So that is my last honorable mention. And to finish off, the number one episode by a landslide in 2022 was episode number 17, Business Credit, Airbnbs, and Networking Marketing. 
network marketing with Rumorio. He is amazing. He's another young Dominican guy. He also played football for a while, decided to leave school, and he's doing big things now. He has a lot of going, and he talks there about you know how you're how you can start building your credit, both personal and business. His journey, how he got his first Airbnbs. He has two or three now, so he's just on the rise. So that's episode number seventeen. Again, I want to thank you guys for the this amazing year. I have so many things in store for you guys this upcoming year. So keep showing support. Keep you know. As long as you guys are, you know, keep wanting more content, I'm going to keep dropping more content. So excited to see where this podcast goes in 2023. And I'm sure that I'm going to just, I'm going to bring my A game this near, this upcoming year. So stay tuned. A lot of heat is on the way.